What's up guys, it's Matt McKinley here and <laughs> in today's video, well to start on a good note, Pixie's here again for this video, so she'll probably just be running around in the back, you know, on a bad note. This, this video is going to hit close to home for me right now. It's a very, 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 very good timing video for me to make um, about good friends, about fake friends, about bad friends, and I'm just going to give you the scoop. Because sadly I've had a lot of friendships that have just come and gone, whether it's their fault. I'm kidding, there's always two sides to every story, but this video is definitely a video that I'm gonna make and gonna have a lot of actual real life reasons to back up, which I'm probably not gonna say in the video, but it comes from the heart. Anyways, this will be relatable to you and to me and to everyone probably, sadly. So if it is, make sure you guys give it a big like and subscribe. But hopefully this helps you guys determine whether or not one of your friends or all of your friends or some of your friends are real or fake. Also, excuse the fact that I got a new bed frame and this Mattress is a queen size bed, so I'm waiting on my new mattress, so it's right now. Also, the sheets are in the wash, so it just, it's a mess, but you know, it's fine. Number one, do they break promises? Do they tell you one thing, like, oh, we're gonna hang out for sure tomorrow, I'll pick you up after school, and then don't? Do they tell you they're gonna go over and talk to that cute girl or boy and try to help be your wingman, and then don't? And then get with them? No, I'm kidding. But. <laughs> You know, you really don't want a friend that breaks promises. You want to know that they're always going to pull through with whatever you ask them to do if they agree to it. That's what a good friend does. And if they don't do that, then they have one strength. Three and they're out. Three out of five and they're out. That's how we're going to play this game. You know, that, that actually makes sense. Three strikes and they're out, guys. Number two, do they support you or do they belittle your ideas? You want a friend that always supports your decisions as long as they're right, healthy choices and they're not going to be dangerous or harmful to yourself or others, but if you're making choices on what you know, what school you want to go to, or what you want your electives to be, or who you want to date, like, but they're not supporting you, and they're telling you that you're wrong, or you should do this instead, because they don't really care if you're happy or not, they just want you to be what they want you to be, I don't know. It sounds like they're a parent, but some friends are like that. You definitely want a friend that supports your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, and wants you to be happy with what you're doing in life, and not a friend that just tells you what they think you should do, or tells you what they want to do and think that you should be just like them. Number three. This is a big, big, big one. Pay attention to how they talk about their other friends. If they're always talking bad to you, like, oh, Sally Sue, you know, chews really loud at lunch and she's kind of nasty. Billy Bob brownies um, farts after he has lunch at the cafeteria and it's nasty. Millie May went and ate breakfast at Sally Sue's diner. Oh yeah, the high school kids in this story have their own diners. Um, <laughs> but you don't want a friend that goes and tells you about all the stuff that their friends are doing and talk bad about them behind their back and just tell you their secrets and all that. That's definitely a big sign that they're gonna do the same to you or they're running away the turn against you or probably already do the same to you to the friends that they talk to do the same to you, to the very same friends that they're talking to you about, and it's just a vicious cycle, and you don't want to get involved. Pixie is chasing my feet right now. She hopped off the bed. But yeah, I have quite a few friends who do this, and it definitely makes me worry that they do the same thing to me when I'm not around. You don't want that. Number four, do you trust that they won't judge you? Are you afraid to like do certain things around them because you're intimidated by them? Are you like afraid that they'll tell other people if you do something kind of dumb? or embarrass yourself or be yourself around them and you know, be kind of wild. You know how friends get if you're really close, you get kind of wild sometimes and you know, true colors come out. Are you always kind of acting to me around them to make sure that they don't judge you for being yourself because that's a big sign that maybe they're not the best friend if you feel intimidated by them or you feel like you're not good enough to be a friend or something. That can definitely be a sign that things need to change or they're not a great friend. Because you want a friend that you can tell all your secrets to no matter what you do, anything about your life and they won't judge you. Got a little excited, got a little carried away. It's okay, forgive me. Yes, she said yes. Do not go. Do you see this? This child is contemplating. Pixie? Don't jump. And the last one, the fifth one. Guys, make sure you guys are paying attention to your list. If they have had three out of the five so far, you haven't already done four, then that means they've lost. Anyways, guys, the fifth one is keeping secrets. Do they keep your secrets? Do, are they keeping secrets from you? It goes both ways. If you tell them something, are you afraid that they'll go and tell other people? And this isn't the same as 
the one about them talking bad behind your back and about, bad about their friends to you. But this is them telling someone one of your secrets. Like, oh, I like so and so, and they go and tell so and so or one of their friends, oh, well, this person likes so and so, so you probably shouldn't like them. Even if it's for good intentions, you don't do it. And also, are they keeping secrets from you? Are they lying to you? Are they keeping secrets from you? How many times have you repeated? I got lost with what I was saying, and I'm just rambling. It's okay, we're gonna continue this. You don't want to ask a friend to hang out and make plans with someone and then have them tell you, Oh, sorry, I had a dentist appointment that day and I have to cancel, like, I'm sorry. And then you find out <laughs> they lied. <laughs> that means <laughs> they're gone. That counts as two points now, but, but really, you definitely want to make sure that they're not going to be secrets from you either. So yeah, trust and secrets is a big, big, big part of friendship. Hopefully, they did not lose that one question out of five question? I don't know. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this guys helped you determine whether or not your friends are real or fake. I know I kind of made it a little bit insincere at some points, but it's definitely a sincere topic. You want to make sure you surround yourself with good people and people that can lift you up and not bring you down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great day and go spend time with your great friends because hopefully you just determined who they are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all so much. Please give this video a huge like and subscribe and comment and comment the name of your best friend. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Please say bye. She wants you to like it. Please like it. Sign in and like it. Oh. Bye. I was a lion, I gave into the fire. I know I should have fought it. At least I'm being honest. Feel like a failure, cause I know that I failed you. I should have done you better. Cause you